Hello and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be interviewing Artistic Cookie, aka Cam. Go ahead and say hello and give us an introduction of yourself as well. Hey there, my name is Cam. I run the channel Artistic Cookie. I mainly do story time animations and stuff. My animations usually consist of something cute, cute comedy. <laughs> cute comedy. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Yeah, alrighty then, Cam. First question I had for you here was when did you start YouTube? When I started YouTube? Mm, I made a channel, I think last year, March. But I didn't actually upload my first content until a month later. And my first content was my introduction video, which <laughs> you can see it's really different from the stuff I create now. It was actually one of the first animations I created. I never really touched animation before that. Yeah, I see that a lot of animators, the first video they make is an introduction video for some reason. Yeah, they want to introduce themselves to the world. I mean, that's not a bad idea. I, I don't have one of those up. I mean, I'm not an animator, but uh, I don't have like a introduction video of any kind or a, a channel trailer or anything like that. I probably should. Yeah, you should, and I should make a new one. Yeah, I've, <laughs> I've heard it's pretty it's pretty recommended to have one. But, uh, yeah, I, I really don't have any ideas for what to do for a channel trailer. You can just do some compilations of your, like, your work. Yeah, the most interesting parts and just combine them. Maybe give a small introduction of what you do. That would be great. Yeah, that, that could be a good idea, like a small little short compilation of, like, I don't know, <laughs> interview funny moments or, or some shit like that. Yeah, that that doesn't seem like a bad idea. Yeah, and you can add like those funny sound effects. Yeah, I've uh, I've never been a big fan of like adding sound effects to things, to be honest, because uh, I, I don't know, mo <laughs> they just most of the time they just seem really forced. Oh, well, not all the time. Oh well, not all the time, but most of the time, like you know, anytime I watch a uh, like I don't know. A prank YouTuber, that's where I see them the most, like, they, they just use so many sound effects and they're not really necessary to the video. Uh, well, I guess it's subjective. But for animations, I think it's just, it makes it more lively if you use them. At the right moment, definitely. Yeah, yeah, it's all about when you use them. Because, uh, you know, some people misuse them or overuse them. And that's that's pretty annoying. And Cam, why'd you start YouTube? What got you into it? I actually wanted to start something new. And at the time, um, Domix was really popular. And when I was in college, I was thinking to myself, I wonder if I could do that. Could I do that? So I just kind of just started. I also kind of used it to help with the anxiety I have. Like showcasing yourself to the world. You're like stepping on a platform and showing your animations, your art, your ideas, basically yourself to the world. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure Dominic is still pretty, pretty poppin'. <laughs> yeah, I don't really keep up with him a whole lot, to be honest. Don't really care for his content much, but it's good. It's good stuff. And any channels before this one, Cam, or is this your first ever YouTube channel? Uh, nope. This is my first one. I never really got into YouTube before this, so... Oh, wow. I mean, you know, your first go was pretty, pretty right, pretty successful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, of course, no problem. I mean, you know, I've, I've went through, like, two different channels before this one, and uh, they haven't been <laughs> very successful. Oh, what were they? I had a, uh, my first channel was a Let's Play channel. It was called Quacker Kit. But yeah, I had that channel where I made Minecraft Let's Plays, and... All other kinds of Let's Plays, too. Yeah, and then I quit after, like, three years of making content on there. And then I went to making exposing content where I would uh, expose YouTubers that were bigger than me for either something that they've done wrong or, <laughs> like, just a video that was staged. Because, uh, you know, I liked making, like, drama videos back then. And then, after about, like, nearly two years of doing that, I was like, you know what, I'm done with this too. This isn't good. This isn't productive. If anything, this is just horrible for my, like, self-esteem and all of that. Because, you know, people in the comment section <laughs> mainly just told me that, yeah, yeah, they uh, just mainly told me to, you know, end my life and 
I don't know, I'm ugly and shit like that. So I was like, you know what? I, I, I don't really want this anymore. So I'm just going to move to something better. Yeah, I'm happy for you. Yeah, thank you. And then I rebranded what is now Shampy, you know? Uh, like, it used to be Exposer, Exposer, and now it's Shampy, and now I do these interviews, and uh, for once, I think I found a niche that's actually somewhat decent, and uh, I like doing it, so I'll probably be doing this for a long time. It's like you had a brainstorming session. Yeah, it, it took a bit to, uh, you know, finally fi find, like, the proper niche, but I finally did it, and, and I'm happy. Can I ask about your name, Shampy, like Shampoo? Turn poo to pee. Yeah, there you go. You got the joke. Nice. Pr proud of you. Proud of you. Is there a reason for it? <laughs> there, no, there's no reason for it. I just didn't want to call myself shampoo, so I went for shampoo. That sounded better. I mean, either way, it's a shit username. No denying it, but, you know, I couldn't think of anything better. And I didn't want to go for something stupid and cliche like, I don't know, the interviewer or something like, <laughs> like that. Yeah, cuz I don't know. I just I just feel like that's just so sad. Damn, Shampy it is. Yeah, Shampy it is. Shampy was definitely the better um choice there. I was either going to go for Shampy or Nola, as in granola, but I just removed the GRA. I think that one's worse to be honest. I prefer Shampy. It grabs your attention. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, a lot of people like to to bully me for my username, but that's that's fine, you know. I mean, it's mainly just, like, YouTube friends of mine that just fucking talk shit about my name, but that, that's fine. You know, I, I definitely I definitely deserve it, having Shampy's my, my username, but you certainly have a better username than I do, for sure. Oh, my username. I only named myself Artistic Cookie it was because I couldn't think of anything else. I wanted a new identity, so at the time I was drawing, and I was snacking on a cookie. So yeah, that's where my name came from, Artistic Cookie. That's great. That's great. That's, I swear, like, you could have been, like, I don't know, you could have been, <laughs> like, I could just imagine if you would have been eating something else. What would you have named your channel? Artistic Cake. Or, I, I don't know, you're just, like, drinking something. Artistic Milk. Artistic Water. Well, I love coffee, so artistic coffee um yeah i mean i think out of all those options artistic caffeine <laughs> I, I mean that that one isn't too bad but i think cookie's certainly the you know the better one out of all those options yeah and cam is is youtube your full-time job well i do freelancing and youtube is a huge part of that i do have like other clients that i usually work with but those are usually for illustrations or graphic design. Oh, okay. No, you don't do animation for other people? Usually, no, because it takes too much time. The time I need to work on my YouTube videos. But you'd say YouTube is, like, the biggest factor in your income. Yeah, it's the biggest factor. Okay, and the follow-up question that I had for that is, so since YouTube, you know, is, like, what you mainly do as a job, how, how do you balance both your YouTube career and the you know your day-to-day -day life activities because uh you know like i i myself struggle with balancing my uh my other activities with my youtube channel because <laughs> it's just kind of like uh youtube for me has been the thing that just kind of like sucks me in and i'm just like that's all i want to do every day just work on my youtube channel it's it's tough to balance it with other things like friends and such so how do you manage to do it? Well, I don't really have a proper schedule or anything. It's just like what I feel like doing on that day. And I just kind of... This is kind of bad to say, but I just kind of wing it every day. Like if I feel like putting in like six hours, I'll put in six hours. If I'm you know, putting in nine hours, I'll put in nine hours. Sometimes even 12 hours. It just depends on my mood and stuff I have to do for the day, chores, errands, and stuff. Right, yeah, that's that's fair enough. I mean, I don't really have a schedule either. I just kind of... Oh, I do have, like, benchmarks and deadlines I set for myself. Like, I should finish this video by this date. I'll try my best to get it out by that date. I, I don't have deadlines because I don't think my kind of work would work with deadlines, to be honest. Because it heavily relies on others. Deadlines kind of motivate me to an extent. I mean, I guess that's what a deadline is really supposed to do. Motivate you to keep working. Motivate you and stress you out, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. 
it can stress you out as well. That's why, uh, you know, if you ever set a deadline, it just has to be kind of realistic. Because I see some people set very unrealistic deadlines and they just stress themselves out. That's honestly me. <laughs> I set unrealistic deadlines. I'll keep pushing myself back. I'll do my best to meet it. Yep, that string of disappointments. But in the end, I managed to finish the thing I wanted to finish. So, so win-win. I just, I, I don't know. I... I uh I don't have a schedule like I said. I don't necessarily wing it. I have like you know, like a set of sticky notes on my computer with the work that I'm supposed to do for YouTube and then every day I just hop on, look at those sticky notes and just do that work for the day and then when I feel like I'm satisfied with the amount of work I did that day. I just stop. Do you do YouTube full time? Oh no, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Damn, what do you do? Well, I'm I'm 16 currently, so, uh, but I, I I don't go to a school. I'm homeschooled, so I do my my homeschool activities, and I also do my YouTube stuff as well. But no, I, 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 I mean, my dream is for YouTube to be a full-time job at some point. But with 2.9k subs, I, I, I physically wouldn't be able to go full-time even if I, like, you know, absolutely wanted to. Well, maybe not now, but just keep at it. At one point, I had really few subs, and I just kept, kept doing what I do. Just don't give up. Don't get discouraged either. Yeah, for sure. No, I, I always keep working, you know. Nothing's really going to stop me because at the end of the day, I just, you know, I, I've i been doing this for like five years now or nearly five years I've been doing YouTube for. So when you were 11? Yeah. Wow, you're hardworking. Yeah, I, I started YouTube when I was 11 doing Minecraft Let's Plays on a really crappy laptop. And now I'm here doing interviews. It's something. Evolved. Yeah, it, it's truly quite the evolution for sure. But I only started because I, uh, all of my friends at the time were starting YouTube channels, and I was like, man, that sounds really cool. I want to do that too. And I did, and, and now we're here. And now I'm the only one that actually makes YouTube content out of all my friends. That's an achievement right there. Yeah, yeah. I, I do take pride in it. But, you know. <laughs> Um, I'm sure either way, if my friends wouldn't have started YouTube, I would have probably started at some point because I always, uh, I always just really liked watching YouTube content. And even if my friends hadn't started, I probably would have been like, man, you know, this is really cool. The idea of making YouTube videos and for anyone around the world to be able to watch them. So, you know, I probably would have just started at some point. I don't know with what. I would assume I would have still started with Let's Plays because that's all I knew how to do a few years ago. Well, a few years ago, Let's Plays were trending, so I wouldn't really blame you. I, well, yeah, I mean, they still are. It's not like... I don't think it's a completely dead market now. Like, there, yeah, there's still people, you know, out there doing Let's Plays and all of that, but it's definitely not as prominent as it was few years ago. I think what's more prominent now it's like uh you know, funny moments gaming content <laughs> like people like, you know, Vanos gaming, that kind of style of content. The next question I had for you here was when did you start drawing and why? When did I start drawing? Well, I think I was drawing when I was a kid. Really young age, but I got into it when I mean I really, really got into it when I was in UK during my primary school. Yeah, I didn't really have that many friends, so I kind of turned to drawing as a means of creative release. Yeah, I've just been drawing, but during my high school, there was a lot of exams and a lot of stress, so I kind of pushed my drawings aside for a moment and just focused on exams. Yeah, I kind of picked it up again after that, and I went into full mode. <laughs> college and everything. Primary school is uh, elementary, I assume, right? Yes. Yeah, because I know people in the UK call it like primary school, secondary school. And I, I, I really don't understand those terms because I'm not from there. And I don't understand US terms. <laughs> oh, well, we've got elementary school, which is, uh, you know, the little kids like ages like five through maybe like 
uh, 11 or 12. And then we've got middle school, which is ages, I want to say, 11 or 12 to about um, 13, 14. <laughs> and then high school is, is, you know, the last four years before college or university, which are ages like 14 through 18. And then you're done with, with those uh, types of schools, and then you move on to college or university if you want to. Like, you know, in high school, we, we call, like, the different grades, like, ninth graders are freshmen, 10th <laughs> graders are sophomores, 11th graders are juniors, and then 12th graders are seniors. I, I don't know why we do that, to be honest. But uh, we do for some reason. I see. <laughs> I've always seen these terms in movies and stuff. It was a bit confusing, but eh. Yeah, yeah, it, it is a bit confusing for, you know, someone that might not be from here, <clears throat> coming here. But, you know, I, I got used to it quick because I moved to the U.S. when I was five. So I got adapted to it. Oh, where were you from? I'm from Venezuela originally. Yeah, I'm a... Uh, I'm a South American boy. Yes. Yeah. I speak. I speak Le Español. Yeah. But uh, thankfully, I, I I don't live there because it's it's got a very shitty political situation at the moment. And Cam, how'd you go about to learn to draw? I don't think I had a method. I just drew. I just saw stuff from life, and I liked Pokemon, so I drew Pokemon. And I liked horses a lot when I was younger for some reason, so I drew a lot of horses. I didn't even ha need to have a reference. I just drew it. I mean, it was really shitty and stuff, but. I mean, yeah, just keep practicing. Yeah, that's how I learned to draw. I just, I just kept drawing. Yeah, I mean, hor horses are pretty epic. They're cool. They're neat animals, I guess. Yeah, I used to love them when I was younger. I never really cared for horses much. I'm not even sure why I liked horses so much. I think I just had that phase, horse stage, horse phase. <laughs> you never had any interest in, like, horseback riding or, or polo or anything like that? Nope. I had an interest in My Little Pony when I was younger, though. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, that's the absolute worst life, Cam. It appeals to a small child. I mean, it didn't appeal to me. Then again, they have My Little Pony now as well. Sorry, what about My Little Pony now? My Little Pony is still airing now, I think. They have a new kind of reboot series. Your friends kind of talk about it. Oh, your friends talk about it and you're you're like, what, 24? Yeah. Oh, God. That's not good. Well, let's still talk about Pokemon. Hey, what's wrong with that? It's animation. Well, yeah, I, I know, but My Little Pony, I, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. <laughs> never lose your inner child. I mean, I never really, like, saw the appeal in that show. I never really liked it. I always found it, like, to be a weird show for weird people for some reason. Don't knock it till you try it. Well, I guess so, yeah. But, like, I, I just think what makes it toxic is, is all the bronies out there. Uh, the fandoms. Never associate the show with its fandoms. Yeah, I guess so, but Jesus, the My Little Pony fan base is, is horrendous. But I guess, I guess the same applies to, like, Rick and Morty and, and shows like that. Uh, I suppose I never really saw Rick and Morty. I should, I really should. I've only seen one episode, the pilot episode, and I thought it was good. I haven't seen any other episodes, because I just, I just don't really like watching TV shows or anything like that. You don't like watching TV shows? No, I, I really don't, no. Uh, that's interesting. I only really like watching YouTube videos. That's the only kind of, like, content that I consume, and live streams as well. YouTube is taking over TV. Yeah, it is. I'm sure TV in, like, a solid 5-10 years will probably be dead. Or if not close to being dead. Irrelevant. <laughs> yeah, irrelevant, basically, yeah. I mean, it's so relevant now, and that's surprising, because, you know, YouTube is uh definitely taking over everything. Soon. Yeah, soon, soon TM, you know. <laughs> yeah, it'll be, it'll be dead for sure, dead in the water. But, uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like most people watch television now are just from the older generations, but... That, that could be my, my belief, and I could be horribly mistaken. I barely watch TV, so I can't really, can't really back you up on that. Well, I can tell you, like, my grandparents and stuff, they love TV. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, any, any grandpa or grandma loves TV. Mine, mine do, for sure. Every time I see them, they're watching the television together. I, I don't really care for it. Mainly because I really don't, like, 
The three channels I used to watch a lot were Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and Disney Channel. And now everything they play, in my opinion, is just horrible shows. You know, like, TV was good, like, 10 plus years ago when, like, Cartoon Network had shows like Courage the Cowardly Dog, which is a fucking amazing show. Oh, yeah, I love that. It scared me, but I love that. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, I shit my pants a few times watching it. Not, not literally, of course, but, <laughs> but... Yeah, I, I thought it was a really scary show as well, <clears throat> because I was like, I was like six years old, but 10 years ago, yeah. So yeah, I probably found a few of the things terrifying there. But uh, I, I mean, Nickelodeon had Spongebob. Spongebob was my childhood before the show just became really bad and got to the point where it's like, why don't they just end it already? There's there's nothing more to do with this show. But, and then this Disney Channel... I, I never really, really liked, oh, pardon me, Disney Channel, because I, I don't know, I just never thought any of the shows were really that good. Hey, Disney Channel? There's nothing on Disney Channel you like? Mm, well, currently, I have no idea what they're airing. What about Gravity Falls? I mean, it stopped airing a couple of years ago, but that was really nice. Oh, no, yeah, Gra Gravity Falls is a banger show. Yeah, no, that one was hella good, but everything else was, was not good, in my opinion. There are exceptions. Like? Which ones? Let's see. Have you watched Tangled, the series? Like the Disney movie? Yeah, they have a series for it now. That was pretty good. No, I, I didn't know that. I've seen the Disney movie. It was good. Yeah. You know, the series is pretty good. The art style is fantastic. And there's also Big Hero 6, the series. They had a series for that movie too? Uh-huh. I didn't even know that. That's pretty new though. Oh, okay. Well, that was a good movie too. I really liked Big Hero 6. I'm sure there's a lot more. I mean, I watch a lot of cartoons, so... Yeah, I, I don't I don't really watch cartoons as much as I used to. I call it studying. I watch cartoons and studying, technically. Yeah, I mean, I guess it works out for you, because I know some people, like, like animators and stuff, they watch cartoons to see how, like, they animate and all that. You can watch a lot from learning, just watching. You just study cartoons. That's... I mean, you don't really need to go to school for it. You just keep watching learning referencing yeah i mean like i i guess you know if you want to call things like you know rick and morty and shit like that cartoons i i like watching those yeah they are cartoons anyway, they're just adult cartoons you know a little five-year-old can't sit down and watch rick and morty definitely not i don't think so if they have stuff like family guy or simpsons humor definitely not uh i remember i used to watch family guy when i was younger that was so funny <laughs> I used to watch a a show on Adult Swim when I was younger called Robot Chicken. Have you ever heard of that one? It sounds familiar, but I kind of recall it now. They would like parody like different TV shows and stuff with like these little. They almost look like toys. It looked like stop motion animation, kind of. But I highly doubt it was because you know it was pretty well animated. It, it like. <laughs> They would just make fun of different shows and, like, make it vulgar. And I, I've always really liked, like, vulgar humor, naughty humor. Uh, so that, that show was great for me. I, uh, I haven't watched the cartoon in a, in a solid few years. Like, genuinely sat down and watched episodes of a cartoon probably since, like, 2014. Do you prefer playing games? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I love playing games, yeah. I mainly play Fortnite. That's mainly what I play. Yeah, I see you play... Yeah, I see you play Overwatch a lot. Oh yeah, I play that a lot. <laughs> I use it as stress relief. I, if anything, I think if you play competitive in that game, it probably causes more stress. No, I never do competitive. I don't need that stress. I already have work stress. The people in competitive are always spastics. I tried for a bit. It was not my cup of tea. Oh yeah, I, I tried it like once and it was fucking awful. Uh, no, I've tried it a few times, and I, I, it, first of all, the people are incredibly toxic, and secondly, it's just boring to me. It's too slow. And, like, when anything is slow-paced, I'm incredibly bored. I agree about the toxic people. The only other competitive game I used to play a lot was uh, CSGO. I don't know if you ever played CSGO. Oh, yeah. I've heard of it, but never played it. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh my god, the people in there are... <laughs> uh, Toxic. Yeah, yeah. 
but they're funny toxic like they uh, they can make me laugh you know oh the different kinds of toxic i i guess so <laughs> yeah that's that's a term i just invented funny toxic i don't know because like tm trademark <laughs> yeah yeah, I gotta, I gotta patent that so no one's copyright. Do not steal. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know. I like, I, I was the lowest ranking competitive silver one, and everyone in there is really bad. And I used to be really bad. I probably am now if I go back and play that game because I haven't touched that game in easily six, seven months. Maybe a bit less actually. Maybe like four, three or four. But it's been a while since I played it. And it's just that the people there are so bad that all I do is when I hop into a game, I just troll the kids because I get fun I get like a good laugh out of that, you know, trolling kids in competitive. So I guess in that case, I can kind of be the toxic one, but I, I don't do it with the intention of coming off as a toxic person. Toxic or trolling? Well, I just I just troll and I just like spam things in voice chat. And all of that. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's good fun. I've seen those types. Yeah, and I just team killed too. <laughs> till, till I just get kicked out. Because uh, I, I just don't care about that game anymore. The only game I take seriously now is uh, just Fortnite. Even though that's not a competitive game. I need to try out that game. It's been on my to-do list. I have a lot of games that I need to play, but I haven't played. Like, have you have you ever played any Battle Royale games? Like PUBG or something like that? Or, or no? Uh, nope. I kind of prefer fantasy or RPG games. Like, I never really liked um, first-person shooter games except Overwatch. Overwatch was the exception. Oh yeah, I, I've always... Well, not always. When uh, when I started gaming on the PC more, I uh, I grew to like first-person shooters like CS:GO and Overwatch and Fortnite and all those. Well, um, Fortnite uh, is actually third-person, but it isn't. Uh, you know, I guess it is a shooter game. You know, I I feel like you know if you're gonna buy a battle royale game or play one, I mean, because Fortnite's free. Uh, I I would definitely get Fortnite because PUBG. PUBG's dookie, it's dookie. Dookie? Yeah, it's uh it's another way to say shit. Or crap. Oh, that's a funny that's a funny word. I like it. Dookie. Yeah, my uh my friends and I say it all the time and I I picked it up from, from them. It's spelled D O O K I E and then it's apparently only a North American term, and it's informal for excrement. Dog dookie is their example here. That's funny. Yeah, it's 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 funny. It is it is a nice word to say. It comes off the tongue nicely. Dookie. It also kind of reminds you of the dog from Johnny Test. Every time I say it. And Cam. So ba back to the question. So about the animation. When when did you start animating and why? Why? Cause I wanted to post on YouTube. So just. You started, I assume you started when you started the channel. A year ago, I did do very simple animation for a company. This was also freelance. And it was very, very simple. Like, I would make the animation really nice, and they would hate it, and ask me to make it ugly. <laughs> so I had to turn down the quality to satisfy them. Why? And that made me real because that was the style they wanted. They wanted a shitty style? What? Yeah, they wanted the shitty style, and I just couldn't take it anymore, so I quit. <laughs> it made me feel unhappy there. Okay, I want to produce nice work, but nope, they like the shit, so they like the dookies. That's, that's really fucking weird, so they're just like, yeah, no, okay, can you make this look shit, please? Thanks. Exactly, but it's not really animation, it's just like drawing, like, assets. Like small graphic assets and using like a movie program or a editing program like let's say Premiere or After Effects and just moving it around. That was their definition of animation. That was where I kind of started and then I moved on to Adobe Animate or Flash. That was where I created my own animations. So did they kind of like want you to make like more like an animatic than an animation? It's an animation, but it's like a puppet. It's like you're moving a puppet in an editing program. It's not really frame by frame the way I do now. I, I think I, I get what you're trying to explain to me. Yeah, 
That that makes sense. It's amazing. Was was that a country from or in, fucking hell, not a country, a company from from Malaysia that wanted you to do that shitty ass work? Um, nope. I freelance. I do it internationally. So this was a company overseas. I do do some stuff in Malaysia too, but I prefer overseas stuff. And how have you gone about to you know progressively get better at animation? Oh, that kind of answers itself. Because I practice a lot. The more I do, like, this comes naturally. The more I draw, the more naturally it comes. The faster I draw, it's kind of like a process. The more you do it, the more the better you are at it. And I watch a lot of cartoons, so I study the movements and stuff. So yeah, I watch cartoons. Yeah, some guy uh, that I interviewed a while back, he told me the same thing that he watches cartoons and then he'll pause like here and there to see how they moved. A, a, during a specific frame and all that, yeah. You can just see how like professional companies break down the animation. Then you can like you can take notes from there and do it on your own animation, and that's a great way to learn. Anime as well. I watch a lot of anime. Oh God. Yeah, anime is good. And now anime, anime shit, anime shit, anime shit. It's Dookie. It's Dookie Cam. It's Dookie. Is it good Dookie or bad Dookie? I can't tell. Bad Dookie. Very bad Dookie. It's not bad Dookie. It's a good dookie. I, I don't think there's such thing as good dookie, Cam. I don't think so. Oh, there is good shit. That's a good shit right there. Right there. Oh, that, well, yeah, that is that is a fair counter argument. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I've only seen one episode of Attack on Titan. I thought it was all right, you know, but it's, it's just not my thing. It really isn't. The next question that I had for you here, Cam, was what's your opinion on how YouTube treats its, its animators? I mean, it's okay. I wish they would change the algorithm so we'll have a bit more, you know, leverage. But it's okay. It's not too bad. It's just okay for me. I'm not dissatisfied, but I'm not satisfied. I'm just in the middle. Right, you're impartial. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. Yeah. It would be nice if they, uh, you know fixed all of the problems that their algorithm has for everyone really because uh it's not only animators that have to deal with it it's it's anyone really <laughs> yeah the entire platform yeah they they should really be more open with how to like uh properly you know i don't know if take advantage is the right term but how to use the algorithm properly i guess maybe it'll get better in the future hopefully Fingers crossed. Yeah, no, knowing YouTube, they uh, they probably won't do shit. But you know, we can always be hopeful. And Cam, I I, I saw that like about I want to say, like uh, three weeks ago, may maybe maybe four weeks ago at this point, you uh, I saw that you put up a a community tab post saying that I, I you asked like some question on there of like, <laughs> I think it was what fictional character do I sound like? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. It's actually supposed to be for a series I'm planning, but that's still secret. Oh, it's a secret. Uh, that's that's what I was gonna ask. I'm planning something for a series. Well, I I don't think you sound like I I well at least I can't think of any character, fiction well fictional character that you sound like. But then again, I don't watch much cartoons or anything like that. I mean, in my videos, I get a lot of people telling me like, "You sound like me from Overwatch. You sound like Bemo." <laughs> I get a lot of characters. I don't think you sound like Mae from Overwatch, nor like Bemo from Adventure Time. What? <laughs> well, subjective again. <laughs> I mean, I can. I can make my voice sound like that if I wanted to. Yeah, you could. You could. I mean, I've had people say I sound like PD from Steven Universe. I didn't even know who that character was until people told me. And then I looked it up and I listened to a voice clip. And I can kind of see a resemblance, but really it's not... It's not spot on. <laughs> I kind of see it now as well. Steven Universe is a great show. Mm, I, I never really got into it, to be honest. I I mean, it, like, visually, it's a very attractive show, but I, 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 saw, I saw a few episodes, but mm, no, not my cup of tea. I couldn't get into it. And Cam, I, I saw that, you know, a while back, I think when, you know, it was towards when you started making YouTube videos. Uh, your animations, you made like video game animation parodies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I was wondering when and why did you like stop making those and then switch over to more of like this, the, I guess, the story time animations? Because initially what I wanted to do was story time animations. But then I did my introduction video and I think I got like 
50 people watching it? 50 I think. Yeah. And I wasn't really sure how the YouTube algorithm worked at that point, so I was a bit discouraged, so I tried something more mainstream to capture an audience. So that was where I made, I think, the Overwatch ones. Yeah, and then I kind of followed that trend for a while, Overwatch, Bendy, and Persona. Then after a while I realized I wasn't really that happy doing all those things, so I tried my luck with some story time. And I was really happy to get some audience. And this kind of expanded on that. The more videos I made, the more audience I got, so I was really happy doing that. It's not as, let's say, popular as my other ones, but I'm way happier. Yeah, I, I saw I saw that one of the Bendy ones got like 13 million fucking views. I didn't make me start on Bendy. Like, the game is amazing. The game is really amazing, but the fandom... Yeah, it's, it's, it's shit. Yeah, it's pretty dookie, I think. Pretty dookie. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I mean, I used to get um, children just spamming, like... They would just mash on their keyboard whatever shit they could <laughs> they could write and press enter. I used to get a lot of those children. Hey, I mean, you know, it's at the end of the day, Cam, that doesn't matter because, you know, it's still like interaction with the video. <laughs> and I had to disable comments for it. <laughs> it was too much. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, damn. Yeah, but I, I was like blown away when I saw those 13 million views. I was like, holy fuck. Wow. Damn. I'm not even keeping up with that video anymore. <laughs> it's just there. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've never played that game, Bendy and the Ink Machine. I mean, the aesthetic is great. I don't really see why children like it. It has a lot of jump scares. No, well, I don't know what children are into these days. Yeah, I've heard it's a spooky game, even though it doesn't look that scary, looking at the art. I mean, it's not that scary, but it has a lot of kind of stuff, like the... Like jump scares. Yeah, I mean, like everyone said Five Nights at Freddy's was scary, and then I played it, and I didn't find it scary at all. Like, fucking, it's just like some robotic animal screaming at you, that's all. Well, I've seen a lot of Let's Plays of it, and never actually played it myself. Oh, I did play Slender Man, though. Oh, yeah, I, I, th I think I played that one once or so, and I didn't get scared by it. Yeah, I managed to get all those pages. I didn't get that scared. I, I, well, I don't know. I don't know if I actually played Slender Man ever. Maybe I haven't. I, I don't know, to be honest. This was so long ago. Oh, yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's a dead trend for sure, Slender Man. But I think a movie is either gonna come out soon for it or it recently came out. Slender Man? Really? Yeah, there's a movie coming out for it. Let me, let me look it up. Slender Man movie. Oh, fuck. Oh no, it seems like it already came out. Yeah, it came out August 10th. I'm looking at the reviews and holy shit. Oh my god. Oh no. It's got 7% on fucking Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> what happened to 93%? I mean, I, I didn't think it was going to be a good movie. I'm, I'm not really into, you know horror movies because you know i'm a bit of a pussy when it comes to that kind of shit i won't lie i knew this movie wasn't gonna be good especially since slender man is such a such a dead trend at this point you know no, no one really gives a shit about him yeah like what are they gonna do next make a jeff the killer movie <laughs> like okay that's epic yeah, because, like, <laughs> no one gives a shit about Jeff the Killer anymore. That was so long ago. Yeah, that was, yeah, the, I don't even know when those, like, creepy pastas came out. Probably, like, a solid five-plus years ago. But back to the questions, Cam. Do you think you'd ever go back to making those video game parodies, those animation parodies, or, or not really? I'm actually planning a Kingdom Hearts one. I mean, I, I think a, a Fortnite one would be pretty epic. Yeah, I've never played the game, so can't really say yeah well wait when you play if you play it you should you should make one that be epic but uh you'd probably get a lot of little five-year-olds watching that video which uh which probably won't be good for your audience because uh you know having a little kid audience is is probably not the best i mean i had it for bendy yeah you did have a fuck ton of uh little boys and girls watching that bendy and the ink machine video or videos it's not just that there were i'm not sure the kind of comments that left were very concerning why <laughs> the amount or or what the comments would say the stuff that they would say 
Or how do I put this? Some of them thought Bendy, the ink monster, was attractive. And they would write stuff about that, and I can't understand. And they would call me lazy for not making more. Is, is Bendy a man? Is Bendy a man? Yeah, it's an ink monster thing. It's like Mickey Mouse, but demonified. <laughs> That's a word. Okay, then I'm gonna assume it's a male. I hope that these kids, like, if they were boys... Well, I guess if they were boys, that kind of makes them a little gay. Which which is fine. There's no problem with that. No problem at all. I don't mind if you're gay. But uh, it's it's a bit weird if you're attracted to... Uh, uh, a fictional character from a from a horror video game. I think that shows mental instability, to be honest with you. This is why I disabled the comments. <laughs> I didn't want to read any of that. Yeah, no, that's definitely not a bad idea. God, like, would they be in detail about it, or would they just be like, "Bendy so hot" or some shit like that? It depends. Some of them were very direct. Others were. You have to understand that your language was not so good and there's a lot of typos in it. So when they would describe it, it would be hard to interpret what they were trying to say and eventually disable the comments because too much, too much information. I don't need to know this. I just like the game. Yeah, that's, that's not a, that's not a bad idea at all. I mean, you know, I will, probably would have been like, just replied to one of those comments and been like, where the fuck are your parents? Someone, someone needs to, to whoop your ass, I think so. Honestly, where are all the parents? Please control your child. Yeah, why, why isn't he using the YouTube Kids app, huh? Why is he using the the big boy YouTube version? Yeah, and Cam, I was wondering if you'd ever make a, another tutorial like the, the My Hero Academia one. I might. I got a lot of requests for it. So maybe in the future, like on animation this time. That's an idea, but not anytime soon. I have a lot of other videos planned. And why'd you decide to like make the tutorial in like teaching people how to make art in that style? Because I got a lot of requests for it, specifically. I wonder why in that style specifically though. I've never seen that anime either. It was really popular at that time. And that anime is really good. I've heard it's good, but uh, I probably will never watch it because I, I just don't want to watch anime. Well, it's your decision, but I can tell you it's really good. If you like superheroes, this is the anime for you. Yeah, I've heard it's about like superheroes and all that. But uh, I mean, I maybe when I was younger, um, now I don't really give that much of a shit about superheroes because like all the <laughs> superhero movies I go to watch are just absolute crap, and they they really don't deserve to be up in a movie theater. Like they're all terrible. Like why? Which ones? Oh, all, all of them, Cam. Like most of them. Like fucking. All of them. Avengers. I I never I didn't watch Infinity War, so I can't really say. I've heard it's really good though, so I have to watch it at some point. Infinity War is good, yeah. Really sad, but really good. Two years ago, I went to watch uh, Batman vs Superman and Suicide Squad, and and both of those made me wanna. Don't compare DC to Marvel, please. No, I know, I know, but I'm saying like the DC ones are all of them are mainly like absolute shit except wonder woman wonder woman was the shit oh no i heard that one was complete shit too wonder woman was great yeah i heard that one was fucking terrible actually uh, it's got a 7.5 on rod and tomatoes that's not too bad but i i heard it was terrible but uh then again i i never saw it so i really don't know for me it's the best dc movie out there i i guess if you want to call it a superhero movie the most recent one i watched was uh, the incredibles 2 that was great though yeah it was solid First one was better though, for sure. Um, in in general, I really just don't like going to the movie theater to watch movies. I don't know. I I just don't like it. I, cause sometimes you know you know what I really hate Cam when there's like a, a crying kid in the movie theater. That's the worst. Oh man, that's the worst. It's like can someone just just shut this kid the hell up, please? Thank you. I don't understand why they take them in the first place, knowing they can't behave. Exactly. But they are good kids. Well-behaved kids. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I I see some people bringing, like, their probably, like, one-year-old child to the movie theater, and I'm like, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? Like, are you mental? Like, this, especially when it's a movie like fucking Batman versus Superman, there's gonna be a lot of noise. They couldn't afford a babysitter. Probably. That's what I, that's what I think, and that's why I'm like, okay, I, I guess fair enough if they don't have the money to pay a babysitter or something, but... Come on now, like, Jesus, why are you gonna bring him to fucking Batman vs. Superman? A, a movie that's probably gonna, 
if the baby's sleeping, fucking wake it up. But uh, that's that's just me. Maybe maybe I just get frustrated at small little things like that. Those little pet peeves of mine. It's one of mine too, but thankfully it doesn't happen that often. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. The I mean, like I said, the last movie I went to see was Incredibles two, and before that it was uh the fucking uh the first purge which was absolute shit it was dookie purge yeah do you know the purge movies yeah i think that's just mindless violence i think i watched the first one as well yeah well no i i it's not the actual first purge movie it's literally called the first purge it's the the most recent one. Well, I haven't watched it. Don't, don't don't even bother don't even bother yeah after watching the first one i was just uh enough I don't need this. It, it it is. They're they're very bad movies. I don't like just mindless violence. Yeah, ne- neither do I. I mean, if it like somehow contributes to the story, I guess fair enough. But just you know, for every fucking scene to be like a shootout or some kind of violence, like that's like okay, this is just repetitive and boring at this point. Are you planning on uh, ever doing a a real face reveal? And if so, when? Well, I do plan on doing one, but. Not anytime soon. Maybe somewhere next year? Maybe? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Okay, is there like any like specific kind of milestone that you're waiting to hit to like show your face or something? The only milestone I have is my own milestone. When I feel comfortable really like revealing my face, then I'll do it. Right now I'm not so... I'm not in that zone yet. I'm still getting there. I mean, it's kind of a big thing for each reveal. I do plan on it, but just not anytime soon. Yeah, some some people are more, uh, you know, lenient towards showing their face, but others are not too keen on it, which is fine. I mean, I get it. Is it like for privacy reasons, I assume? Yeah, privacy reasons. Yeah, that's that's fair enough. I mean, I've shown my face before. I mean, my Discord profile picture is literally my face, just... Wait, that's your face? Yeah, but it's just it's just stretched the fuck out. That's not actually, like, my normal face. <laughs> yeah, let me let me send you the original picture. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, I've, sh- I've shown my face uh, on YouTube before. I showed it on one of the interviews that I did. I really had no problem. I've never had a problem with showing my face on YouTube, to be honest. I've always been kind of like impartial to showing my face like i'm just like you know so so what if people know what i look like like you know what's the worst that can like really happen to me well i guess that's true it depends on the person yeah but like i guess if you know you just like really 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 do want to hide it not show it to anyone for privacy reasons i guess fair enough but yeah cam i've only got one last question for you here and then that'll be it for the interview so for the rest of the year with your channel what new and different things you plan on doing if any i don't really have different things but i have a lot of animations planned yeah i have um some people collaborating with me um in the voice aspect so there are videos of that and I do plan on getting a Kingdom Hearts video out, and I plan on doing something for Halloween. Definitely for Halloween. And that's all I can tell you for now. That's it for the interview, everyone. Thank you so much for coming on, Cam. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. No problem. And, uh, well, that's it for the interview, everyone. Thank you so much for listening. If you have enjoyed it, you can go ahead and drop me a like, drop me a sub. Anything you could do to help would be appreciated. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I'll see you next one. Take care and goodbye.